We got Bob safely back to the hideout, where everyone took an immediate liking to him. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bentley provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz, and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called paleo graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots, quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts, and that meant we had to get him back into climbing shape, fast. Well, there you have it. What is up, everybody? This is United Gamer 101 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. In the last part, we did some quests to rescue Bob Cooper. And now, I don't know, let's look at who we got in the thief net. Let's go ahead and buy that. I don't want to play as Carmelita, so automatically recharge the gadget uh, meter in the blink of an eye. That sounds pretty... don't have enough. <laughs> I don't really want confusion and ammo. We're going to end up buying every skill eventually, especially when we go back and go for treasures. This should be easy. But let's go ahead and get Bob Cooper <laughs> and see what he has for in for us. I already knew that, but... Okay, we, so now we, oh, that's the weapon we have, because, uh, well, he doesn't really have anything, you know, don't have a cane or anything. Oh, there's the arrow. Alright, so let's see what kind of missions we have for him to do. We have to actually get him in shape, I believe, because apparently his depressing moments got him fat. Without the use of McDonald's and Wendy's, that's pretty impressive. Actually, Wendy's is amazing. I used to work at McDonald's, so I really cannot stand it anymore. Uh, I didn't really like it that much in the first place, but what is that? That is hilarious. This reminds me of the Land Before Time, a little kid show I used to love, or a movie when I used to love when I was a little kid. All right, so the Murray Games. Oh, is this gonna have to do with like the Hunger Games? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, let's see what we have to do here. Okay, Murray. We need Bob's help to recover the lost components, but he's in terrible condition. It's up to you to get him back into climbing shape. No problem, Bentley. The Murray knows what it takes to be a champion. All right, listen up. Playtime is over. Your job is to get back in shape, and my job is to make that happen. To do that, the Murray is taking your training to the next level. Look around. We'll be using your standard training exercises. Slippery slope, penguin popper, Sumo slap, duck and cover, super sling, and whack a chump. Okay, so maybe they're not your standard exercises, but they are Murray approved, so let's get started. This looks like it's gonna be a bunch of fun. I'm just saying. Alright, let's go ahead and start with slippery slope, is that right? Using advanced training techniques, the Murray has gained the balance of a mountain goat. Now I'm going to pass my secret on to you. It's simple. You stand in the middle of the ice, and my little helpers will shake things up. 
All you have to do is keep that egg in one piece. Wait, I wasn't listening. I was reading the message that I got. Oh, crap. This is not going to be easy. I want to turn my internet off so people don't start sending messages. I didn't realize I was signed in. Thanks, IG Shock. Oh, God. This is actually really easy. Like, no lie, this is simple as crap. That's it, right? Alright, so sorry about that, because I had to sign out. <laughs> but, um, what do we have next? Uh, which one does it want us to do next? Okay, I guess we'll do this one. Is he, is he losing weight? Oh, it don't look like it. A real fighter knows when to strike and when to back off. Like whether or not to have one more pepperoni and chocolate chip burrito. To make these split-second calls, you need precision. Our little penguin pals are gonna start popping out of those holes along with some fakes. Just make sure you hit the real birds. If this is anywhere near as hard as one of them... Crap. The very first one I hit is a fake. <laughs> if this is anywhere near as difficult as um, Jack and Daxter's minigame back in Jack... Or their hideout back in Jack 2 or 3. I think it's 2. Pretty sure it's 2. And this is going to be a pain. But as it looks like it, no, this is nowhere near as hard. But, uh, God, it was, it was insanely hard back in that game. Oh, that took me forever to be. I stopped playing the game because how hard it was. Well, that was really easy, actually. Good job, Bob. I approve. All right, let's go do this one. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, yeah. When you've been fighting as long as the Murray, you develop cat-like reflexes. But, like, without all the hairballs and stuff. To do this, you have to keep your focus. This exercise is simple. Dodge the penguins. Easy enough. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> a dodgeball reference, I think. If you can dodge... What was it? If you can dodge a ball, you can, or if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. And then, like, the made fun of version, if you can dodge a gun, <laughs> you can dodge a wrench. Wow, well, that's so easy. Come on. That's the only thing. The game has been amazing. Like, oh, literally amazing so far. The only aspect that I don't like is it's way too easy. Like the Murray, you need to develop your reaction speed. And not just at the dinner table. You want to hit your opponent at just the right instant. Time your attack and whack the opponent when he's in front of you. See, like, I should probably suck at this. I'm like, no lie. Because I'm not good at timing things. But this is really easy. I'm, I'm actually pressing it at different times and it's still working. I'm playing baseball on Sly Cooper. Way to go, Slugger. You probably could do it all day, but the penguins would get irritable. No matter, the penguins are probably like they're like evil, right? So it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so what do we got this time? To be a true warrior, you need to develop accuracy. The Murray can hit the bullseye while standing on his head. The key is concentration. So take a good look at those pterodactyls. See the targets they're holding? Put my little pals in that sling and show them how real birds fly. When you hit enough targets, you win. Okay, this should be pretty difficult. Let's see what we got here. Make those penguins fly. I thought I missed that. Oh, I did miss that one. Take your time. Oh, I didn't even know I could really turn it. That makes it easier. So they should have made some, like, long-distance targets right there. You know what I mean? Like, very in the background. But I think this one we actually got to wrestle. Or fight Murray. Let's, uh, come on, be Murray. During my illustrious sumo career, I developed the strength to move my opponent, no matter how big. I also won the ramen eating championship, but that's another story. 
To develop this kind of power, you have to push yourself. All right, your opponent is ready. When the two of you meet, you better find your strength. If you don't, he's gonna slap you in the next week. When you can move him out of the ring, you'll be done here. There it is. Proof in itself. He said I'm a ramen eater. It is not Raymond noodles. It is ramen. I don't know. Like, people, me and my friends used to argue all the time if it's ramen or Raymond. It is ramen. There it is. Sly Cooper proves it. I don't know if anybody else had that argument, but. That, that, see, that this is way too easy. So I usually, I mean, it needs to be a little bit more difficult than this, but. Oh well. I'll take it. It's still a good game. Now, is he skinny? Bob, you've got what it takes. You earned those medals, but there's one last test. You've got to put it all together. Everything at once. Sort of like a triple decker pizza. You know what you got to do. Now make the Murray proud. Wait, oh, uh, I wasn't paying attention. I got to dodge five penguins? Or I got to play all the missions over again? Yeah, I gotta play all the missions over again, but like, they're a little bit shorter. It's like, it, they should have put, like, there's like inspirational music in the background. <laughs> you can do it! You can lose the weight! We believe in you, Bob! I'm trying to balance this thing. Oh, wow, that was easy. What happened? What was with the random sit-ups with the sumo Chinese wrestler penguin? The end should have been like Fight Murray. Just take a gathering of the beautiful music in the background. It's beautiful, isn't it? A tear to my eye. <laughs> Okay, this is a pretty good comedy feel for it. See, like, see that big pterodactyl in the background? I should hit it. See, I barely hit that stone. It should hurt. Oh, well. Is that all of them? Oh, no, we gotta go back to this. Dang, we gotta do it more than once. Like, Sly Cooper games are never really... Oh, wow, I missed. Sly Cooper games are never really difficult, you know? But they're a little bit harder than this. He didn't go all the way up, but it's okay. Let's go! I don't see how this one could be any shorter, really. Slap, 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 slap. Mm. That should be it. No, we got to slap a little bit. Well, we really like this, it really likes this baseball game. Wow, I'm missing a few. I guess that's a good thing, kinda. Harder. <laughs> it really likes this baseball game. Maybe because I keep missing them. <laughs> I failed! It's another speechless moment. I really don't know what to say. I mean, it's not Murray stripping, but it's just inspirational music in the background as somebody loses weight and gets fit. I got it this time. You gotta believe. You just gotta believe so hard and push. Push to your fullest. Live each day as if it was your last. Stay skinny and stay straight. Yes! Now you're ready, kid! Now you're ready! I'm still fat. <laughs> okay! Well, that was different. Very, very different. Well, there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching. 
he still looks the same to me. I guess he's fit now. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next part where we will... I really don't know. And we'll do some, you know, a, I don't know, a Murray quest. I really want to save up for that thousand coin thing. That was a that was a move back in the other slides, I believe. Juggernaut throw. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next part, and um, see you guys then.